You see this shit? Yeah, that is some really, really nice example of 2008 Gibson quality control. Hey guys, welcome to the unboxing sessions. Um, need to make a little bit of a commentary before we get started because um, stupid me deleted the actual footage of unboxing the guitars. So that means you're just left with me reacting to the actual unboxed guitars first time and seeing them first time, which is I think the more interesting part, but uh, yeah, I know how some people like their unboxings and I'm sorry. Um, some of the guitars are also picked up locally, which means they never had a box around them. So uh, yeah, this is not your usual everyday unboxing channel, but I hope you, you still like it and uh, also have some fun with me discovering those guitars first time. Thanks for clicking and uh, have fun watching. So let's dive right into this. Are you guys ready? Here we go. So, what do we have here? It's a fender, obviously. Rosewood neck. 21 frets. Oh my god, what's that? Yeah, that's right. Two humbuckers. And of course, the trusty two point trim. But uh, maybe you can see it, it's the vintage style two point trim with the screw in arm kind of hate those but um yeah what can you do so as you probably guessed with that configuration it can only be one guitar and that is an american standard two mm -hmm. shop mm -hmm. style actually when those came out back in i don't know early 2010s i thought that was really cool strat with two humbuckers and uh, i always wanted to try those out and had the chance to get my hands on one and uh, yeah that's what I got by the way it's also interesting look at the switches volume volume tone and look at this guy here one two three as you could obviously imagine with those kind of pickups so but what else did we get with our little purchase I don't want to go into deep here because um well why don't you do a review and demo of this but um we also got some case candy lying around that I'd really like to show you. Oh, getting a little bit unstable here. So this is how it came. I'm just getting this out. Yeah, should get it out the other way. Okay, so we got a trusty tremor with the vintage tip. Yep. Yeah screw in like i said don't like those but um what can you do okay so that's another interesting thing here what do we have we got a tremolo spring already checked there's three in there so um yeah three is enough because i usually play nines and uh, don't need four for that we got an empty sack very nice Probably some kind of tools in there, judging by the numbers, usually. Yeah, that would be the other sack for the saddle, um, saddle setup. So now it's getting a little bit more interesting. The hang tag, very nice. Quality check and all that. I always like to have that with guitars that I buy, especially American made ones or the, the, the more pricey ones, you know. Okay, so that's now standard case stuff. Limited lifetime warranty, always wondered what limited lifetime warranty is. Owner's registration, probably not filled out. I mean, who on earth does that anyway? Owner's manual. And uh, yeah, it's probably another part of the manual, just to show you how to set it up. And our trusty key, but that was obviously not included with the guitar, that was included with the case. All right. So here we have it, little Fender Stratocaster, really looking forward to get to play this, this thing. 
All right, so there it is in all its glory, unpacked and ready to be even further unpacked, I guess. All right, so as you can see, what do we have here? Let's move over to this first. A little Gibson guitar. I always hate that they put the logo like that, so just have it when you open the case like that. Doesn't make sense, but yeah, whatever. And we also have a little special thing on this case, which I'm going to show you now. And that is this. This guitar was in fact a guitar of the month in 2008. I think it was August, so some people might already know what this is. Yeah. What is it? It is probably a guitar. And by the shape of the case, you can finally, you can pretty much judge that it is obviously in Gibson J45 acoustic guitar. No, it's not. All right. So let's pop the latches. And also, yeah, one back here. Oh, and one over there that you didn't see. Okay, so what is this? Yeah, didn't really open. At first, looking at the case, uh, the case was sold to me as in perfect condition. I'm not quite sure if that is perfect condition, but um, yeah, let's see. Get some kind of bad vibes for this guitar because um, it is a 2008 Gibson and that is the time where Gibson's quality control was kind of, kind of Gibson. So, okay, so we got the liner. That's nice. And it's, it's super clean. As you can see, it's like, it's like brand new. I mean, amazing. I uh, hope you can wash this out. Okay. So I'm just going to pull it away. Wait for it. Oh yeah, it's black. Camera doesn't really, can't really catch this. Okay, so what is this? It is a flying V called the Shred. Why is it called the Shred? Because when Gibson puts a tremolo on something, it is Shred. Because usually Gibson, Boomer guitars, Boomy Boomer, and oh my God, it grew a tremolo. It's Shred. It also has EMGs, even Shreddier. Yeah, that's just how Gibson treats things. It's a Boomer brand. What can I say? Um, yeah, all right, what is this? It is a Flying V. I don't know actually what style, since they chopped this up so bad. It doesn't have a pickguard and it's, it's pretty custom in that uh, sense of saying. has an ebony fretboard that uh, in this light almost looks like rich light. I mean, it's just pitch black. Uh, frets look very good. That's also a reason why I bought it. And I'm also seen, I've already seen something, but I'm going to show it in a second. EMG 85-85 uh, combo, pretty strange combo, but um, yeah. Let them have it. And one of those Kayla classic trams that you don't need to route through the body. You can just uh, put, route a little hole and uh, then put this on top. I'm going to show you that in detail later when I do the review of the guitar. But for now, it should be enough. Volume tone and probably those EMG style pots that turn by just blowing on them. Yeah. I gotta say, I, I kind of don't like this because... Um, pot that you can turn so easily you almost turn it with with no intention all the time but uh yeah everywhere switch yeah but um yeah that's just how emg pots are all right so what did i see what i want to show you it's a really special thing and uh, that is the neck get ready now would you look at that Lacquer already bubbled, split, camera can't seem to get this straight, yes, no it does. Do you see the shit? Yeah, that is some really really nice example of 2008 Gibson quality control. Uh, well, yes, um, um, maybe I'm gonna have to contact the seller on this because this was not shown on any of the pictures and also not in the description. It's it's not too bad. I mean, it, it, like I said, it's it's something that I did really expect with the Gibson quality control. But um, still, it is a decrease in the worth of the guitar. Also, what do we have here? We got those nice Grover locking tuners. The guitar itself is number forty three of um, how much did they do? A thousand each, I think, from a guitar of the month. So actually, pretty strongly limited. 
uh, which I like, which is also a reason why I bought this guitar. And uh, oh, yeah, looking at the back here, already an interesting thing with the uh, EMGs is how did they do yeah, the, the classic um, cram in the battery into somewhere where already isn't enough space to do it. I've seen this on the like wild models and uh, I think this is totally stupid. Why did they just route another hole? I mean, it's not like they ran out of wood on a flying V. Oh, I can see a nice reflection here. Yeah, but the overall condition is not too good. Maybe you can tell. But uh, yeah, a little bit polishing and a uh, little bit working up and uh, looking what I can do for the neck and uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna be all right. Okay, let's get this out here. Also, uh, looking at uh, the the case, uh, like it was sold to me as almost new. You can see that. That's not white anymore. That's just plain yellow. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a talk to the seller about this. Do we have any case candy? Here goes nothing. Pretty tight fit. No, we don't. We actually don't have anything. Ah, yeah, the tram arm was packaged separately. I don't know why the teachers didn't put it in here. Uh, just got with, don't have it with me at the moment, but uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna show you anyway when I do the review. So. Yeah, that's it for this little guitar. Pretty interested in what the seller says to the condition and I'm uh, gonna tell you about it when I know something. Okay, so now to our last guitar. All right, so seeing the gig, uh, excuse me, the case, you can already tell what kind of what kind of brand it is and uh, you already know that uh, that is more my side of things. I mean, I occasionally like a Gibson, but um, yeah, that's just where I came from and I just love them. Okay, so let's get this open. Oh, you have to satisfy and click with those locks. Oh, damn. Oh, son. Gotta love those G&G &G cases. Okay. So judging the case, um, uh, I didn't really, I didn't see it when I bought it in the pictures. Just saw the guitar, but the case looks, it looks all right. Doesn't look perfect, but it never was stated that it was perfect. So I guess it's okay. But the reason why I bought this guitar, oh, would you look at this beauty? The guitar was sold to me as in absolutely perfect mint condition. And uh, seeing it now, I think that wasn't a lie. That thing looks like brand new. So what kind of guitar is this? This is a 2007, yeah, 2007 Fender American Deluxe. So a little story for those American Deluxes. When I started playing guitar, um, somewhere later, not, not 2007, um, American Deluxes were the shit. They just, uh, those were the highest tier Stratocasters beyond the, or just below the custom shop. And I just love those things. Just always went to the, my local music store and looked at them and thought, oh, holy shit, I'm going to own one of these someday. And then in 2016 or something, they faded out the Deluxes and no more Deluxes. And I was like, oh shit, I screwed up. I mean, you could always pick up a used one, but I wanted a one in pristine condition. And when this popped up, I thought, yeah, that's just... That's just my chance, maybe my only chance to get one in really, really mint condition. Okay, so the guitar, what do we have? Classical single, single, single coil. Single, six, sounds stupid. Uh, three single coil setup um, with those SCN single coils that are switchable by this S1 switch. Five way blade switch. And uh, here, which I always loved, we have the modern style two point trim with a pop-in arm and the nice saddles that are, just feel great on your wrist when you're playing, when you're muting or something, it's amazing. Love those. How about the headstock? We do have very nice locking tuners. Also, got a little sticker here. 60th anniversary, Fender probably, not the Strat itself. Very nice skunk stripe, Corona plate with a little Access cutaway, it's always nice to have, and uh, yeah, standard backplate, 
Oh my god, looking at this thing. It's it it doesn't have anything. It's like new. It's amazing. And what else I also like about the GNG cases, the vintage style like this, you can access this compartment here. And uh, you don't have to uh, put the guitar aside or something like that. So we're gonna look if we get any case candy, if we get lucky. Oh, that, that looks very good. That looks very good. Nothing of this was stated in the ad except the, the trim arm. Can I just put this here to actually keep this kind of open? Yeah, I can, very nice. All right, so what do we have here? That's a strap and that really looks to me like, yeah, it is the original Fender strap that probably came with this guitar. Very nice to have, even though I wouldn't use it and it, it looks kind of used, but um, yeah, it's made in Canada, so why not? Probably a very polite strap. Keys, the original Fender cable, I mean, also very nice to have. And here we go. All right, our case candy stuff that is molded in paper. Okay, so we got lots of hang tags. Again, our limited lifetime, whatever the warranty, quality control, owner's registration. And also the little sticker that was there to, sh to indicate that it this guitar, in fact, has an S1 push-pull switch, or push-push, it, it's actually a push-push. And uh, we also do have the American flag that was usually on the pickguard, just glued on there. And strap locks, because as you might have noticed, this guitar has strap locks. It doesn't have the original pins, but as long as those are included, maybe those were even standard, I don't really know. I think that's, that's, that's fine by me. So the classical Fender bumper sticker, uh, information on what the switch does, but I'm going to go more into deep when I do a review, this guitar. And uh, 2002 Fender Musical Instruments Corp. Okay, but that guitar, judging by the series, definitely, definitely not from 2002. Maybe you just put that in there as a little goodie, I don't know. All right, so there you have it. American Deluxe, really looking forward to do a review on this one because I just love those things. 